Hi and welcome back. I am headed out to Salt Lake to one of the thrift stores in there. So I hope that you stay tuned to see what I end up getting. I'm going shopping with hubby so you might see him in the, in the video and we'll show you at the end what I ended up picking up. So stay tuned. First thing I see are these two vintage pieces and I don't pick this kind of stuff up but I just thought it would be cool to share with you. This fondue pan was super cool. Right around the corner from there was a bunch of purses but as I went through them I kind of skimmed through kind of quickly but when I did find a good one like that Steve Madden purse uh, the back of that was really scratched up. And then another purse that I wanted, um, the inside looked like somebody had put pens inside face down. I don't know why, but they had a lot of ink in it and it just didn't look very good. So there was a lot of damaged purses and nothing really that stood out to me that said, hey, you know, this is something you should pick up because it, it was a very, very good selection. And in this store, this is in a major city, so I apologize if it is too close up or whatever because there was so many people in this store. And it's a lot more than my other store, which I still get a lot of people in. So uh, I hope that you will still enjoy the video and I hope I got some good footage for you. So here's the rest of them. The black ones were kind of just like not very good quality leather and it just wasn't my day for purses this time. So this store is a little bit m like mixed around, a little bit different than the other store that I go to. So I was kind of trying to look through stuff. It's more messy um, than I'm used to. And I was just checking out to see if I could find a vintage uh, frame or maybe a piece of small art that would uh, be good for resale or even for my home but they really didn't have much um, they were all just either broken or just kind of mediocre looking just nothing really stood out to me in the frames or pictures either I saw this frame and thought it was really pretty but the picture I wasn't too sure about and it was newer and it was plastic it wasn't wood so I put that back and this was really funny looking I thought that was hilarious that would be a good April Fool's present <laughs> but again just you know here and there this was sort of cute but I was like why the broken dish and broken spoon when it's supposed to be a friend thing I don't know it, it, to me that means they're broken <laughs> So I ended up not getting anything in this aisle. We're here in the knickknack section. That was a cute little um, project piece there from the 70s, maybe 80s. Uh, not worth much, but there was just mostly a lot of uh, cheaply made, made in China type stuff that doesn't sell very well. And a lot of chippy things too. This I thought was super cute. It's another project piece, maybe late 70s, early 80s. And it said Jan on it. And it's one of those molds from that time era. And I thought that was really a, a cute find. And here hubby is showing me what he found. I thought it was adorable. So I was kind of checking it, making sure it was okay. It's a newer piece but it's gonna go in the cart. It's gonna go home with me for my personal stuff. And I found this, it was acrylic, and I was wondering, I probably should have looked into that one more. It seems cheap, but I think it had a valuable name on it. So tell me below if you see something I'm missing that I should have picked up. I really need to know. This is another one of those project pieces from the 70s and it was not painted very well. Otherwise, if it was painted well, I would have picked it up. That one was interesting, but it didn't seem, I don't know, it just didn't seem like something 
somebody would be looking for, you know, nothing high end. And again, just let me know down below if there's something that you would pick up. Now this I thought was super cute. It's a, a mold and it's unpainted. It's a high, higher end mold than the other ones that um, are painted. And I just loved him. He had no chips or anything on him. So I picked him up. And this seemed kind of interesting. I know it's the Pope, but it, I wasn't sure if it was um, higher end or not. It was kind of giving me mixed vibes. And I should have picked up that little pottery bowl there. And, oh, I did pick it up and it was broken. That's right. But they had so much stuff. I'm sure I missed a ton of things. This is kind of weird looking, so I ended up putting that one back. And just, this is like a mixture of holidays and a lot of different things. And I should have been looking more for things like um, the fairy lamps and stuff like that, and I totally forgot. I asked Hubby to hold this for me so I could look at it more. And it is really cute, and it was a, a little, oh, he was pointing out it was, it was missing something in his hand, but it would have been really cute otherwise. But again, like I said, there's so much stuff to go through, and there was so many people, and hubby He's not one to shop for very long, so I was kind of rushing trying to get through. That was a cute planter, but it was a uh, florist piece, so I told him no thank you, and he put it back. And I saw this wise man. I thought it was a really high-end one, and I was hoping I could find another one, or the set to match it, but there was nothing else there that I could see. There was this Santa bowl type container thing that was really cute and it was another project piece but it was kind of weird looking at the same time so I'm like eh, I'll just leave that someone will enjoy it. So again just kind of looking around hubby found some more things these were just cute little Easter things made in China nothing that I wanted personally and nothing that I could resell, so I ended up putting them back. That one was another florist piece container, and that round one was tin. And this I thought was really pretty. It looks like it is celery, and it's made in Italy. And I looked it up, so I thought that would be a good one to resell. So I put that in the cart. Then I found this bowl I thought was really neat. It's made out of a gourd. And I, I probably should have got it, but I, oh, I know I didn't get it. It is chipped on it. And I can see it right there, it's chipped. Otherwise I could have picked that up. That was really pretty. And then just looking around for something that was just really heavy metal and it might have been silver, but I couldn't find any markings on it. And I probably could have looked it up, but it just didn't seem like it would really be something that would sell quickly. So I put it back. These are super pretty, but they were flashed. I was hoping that it was the solid color of the glass. Otherwise, I would have picked them up. And I thought about getting that one because that one is complete uh, through. It's the glass that's color. Um, but I ended up putting it back. I thought he was cool. <laughs> Frankenstein. He was plastic. And some plastic boots. I grabbed this because it is one of those, I think it's the egg um, or butter thing. I can't remember which one it is. But I know I've seen them before and they're old and it was missing its bottom and I couldn't find it. So I ended up having to put that back too. 
just kind of going through. I'm hoping I could find a glassy baby somewhere through here, but I didn't find any. I found a few of these candle holders for Christmas and they are a little, well, they're vintage. And I found three of them, but then when I looked at them closer, they all had the paint coming off. So they wouldn't have been good to uh, pick up for resale. So I put them back. But you know, there was a lot of cute things, but then again, not so cute things. So, and that looked like it kind of went to those other things, but the paint's coming off of it too. It's all flashed, so it's coming off. And nothing was just catching my eye. It was maybe because there was so much. <laughs> I don't know. That one looked newer. It might have been vintage, but it was kind of cheap feeling really thin. And then Hubby was on a roll picking up things, finding them for me, and he found this vintage Santa boot, and I collect them, so I'm like, good find, yes, and I put that in the cart. And then he asked if I wanted these, and they were newer, and not the colors that I really use for our tree, so we ended up putting those back. And then he showed me that he found this really cute candle holder, but I would prefer to have two of them. And it, those that style I don't think really sells very well, so I put that back. And then he found this. It's a Ray Dunn Christmas ornament, just a decoration. And I thought, wow, that is so cool. And I could either sell it or keep it, but I think I'm going to keep it. And next to it was this Santa. He found it and he doesn't want it for home, but I know that they go for quite a bit. So I picked that up for resale. And then I looked at this one and he was chipped um, a little bit and the paint was coming off. He was pretty cute. Then I found this cute bunny tapered candle. It says Eddie on it. And I thought, I'm gonna grab him, even though there's one. I'm gonna grab him, because I really thought he was cute. Then, peeking around that rooster there, there's another one. I was like, oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> so, um, I ended up picking that up too. But the rooster would have been super cute, but it was um, resin and wasn't very well made. This is an old made in Taiwan trinket box or candy box for Christmas and I just loved it so that's going home with me that's gonna be mine <laughs> that pumpkin scary face was really cute I probably should have picked it up but I don't know it was something weird about it to me and I thought oh we'll let somebody else get that one <laughs> and again just some made in China kind of stuff too here And hubby found the that cute napkin holder and it was more newer and look I'm showing you I finally found the bunny <laughs> so I've got a pair of them now yay I found this cobalt blue creamer and I was gonna get it but ended up putting it back at first glance I thought this was older uh, kind of vintage greenery but it wasn't it's it's made to look old and just kind of looking through it all see there's the creamer <laughs> and this was um, I thought was marble but it was really light this one was really cute I thought it had um, a vintage vibe to it and it's Harry and David so I know it's a little newer but it has uh, roosters on it. I thought it was a cute crock to have. And that one was really pretty, but it was a um, florist piece made in, in China. And I should have looked at that one, that uh, planter a little closer. Now we're over by the plates and glassware and it's all mostly clear stuff except for the cobalt blue there and those were really scratched up unfortunately and 
and I thought that was really pretty. It was uh, lead crystal, but it's just one, and they don't sell so great just by themselves. And there was a lot of pressed glass, which I used to pick up quite a bit, but it sits and doesn't sell well. And I have a Pyrex uh, pie plate just like this one, and I almost picked it up, but ended up just putting that one back too. This would have been pretty if it wasn't flash painted, but it was rubbing off. And boy, Hubby was on a roll this time. He found these, there are um, eight of them, and they were in pristine condition, and he knows I collect the etching glass. So we picked them up for my own personal collection. And there was a lot of those Libby glasses I thought were really pretty. If you had um, or needed them for your own home, they would be perfect for that. They were just really pretty. They just don't sell very well. And they did have a lot of really nice uh, clear glass sets. And I look at the shot glasses because sometimes there are a few that sell pretty well. So I was just checking those out. And the London one was pretty cool. But they were a dollar a piece, so I had to be kind of picky because they wouldn't sell very much more than 10 to $12. So over in the plates in that, I found this beautiful gold and um, it is a kind of Victorian style trinket butter dish. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's really nice and I grabbed that and stuck it in the cart. This cup was really cute and it did have the saucer to go with it and I should have looked it up and maybe just bought it and sold it as a one cup set because it really was really pretty. But there weren't any others and I was thinking I should have a set. I don't know why I didn't grab it. <laughs> but there were a lot of Christmas things and I was trying to be really picky on the Christmas stuff. If it wasn't at least $25 or more, I wasn't gonna get it or worth $25 or more because um, I don't want it to be sitting forever. Now these were really pretty and they were, uh, just newer brand but super super pretty and that would be cute for you know some kind of special dinner that you had now I thought this might be worth something or it might be a neat bank but it uh, was really scratched up and kind of dirty looking and so I ended up putting that back and I couldn't find any um, comps on it either and the top of it looked like it was missing something so that didn't come home with me so now we're in the vases. They had all colors. Um, I think they tried to color coordinate them, but um, it was overwhelming. I mean, I have never seen so many vases before. And that was newer. I um, thought it would be older, but it is newer. And just kind of looking through to see what they had, to see what I could uh, either resell, of course, or keep for myself. And there was that cobalt blue little vase down there. I already have one um, in my stash to be uh, sold. And I could have looked at that green one. I should have. And that one was a newer brand. It didn't, it just wasn't like super duper neat looking. Um, I mean, it was okay, I guess. But the green one was the older one. I don't know why I didn't grab that one. And this was flash painted. And, and again, I was trying to look for the unique ones that nobody sees all the time. And I think that's why I overlooked that. Now this I kind of regret not getting. I couldn't find any comps, so I put it back. But I, I think it might be something that I should have picked up. And that one too, I was like, is that painted or is that? something and it might be something and I totally missed out on it <laughs> but again like there was so much to go through it was hard to really concentrate and to be quick enough because I was still videoing and doing comps and hubby was getting uh, sick of shopping and 
This was really pretty, but it was flash painted and it was coming off and it was all scratched. At first glance, I thought that was milk glass, but it wasn't. <laughs> Newer glass. And there I am, still questioning that one. <laughs> In the back, they just have like all their their holo or holiday stuff just thrown on the shelves. I thought this uh, mold was really cute, and it was just I think it had a chip on the bottom or something, and I just like uh, I've got enough molds in the cart already, <laughs> and uh, just looking through, hubby found this cookie jar. It was really super cute, but um, when I looked it up, it is a newer one, and it's not um, going for very much. Just going through that outside portion where they have a bunch of glass stuff, and I probably should have looked at that very first dish, and I didn't. I think I got distracted by these because I have some on my Etsy shop that um, are up for sale, and. I did I should have got them but I don't know if I wanted to add more to what I already have because I have quite a few and they really didn't have much out here um, that was vintage um, or high quality I can't remember if I found anything out here um, at all that was kind of neat um, it seemed kind of light and I wasn't sure if it was older or not. Now I know this one was older and I probably should have picked this one up but it was scratched around the, the sides of it on the outside. And again just kind of looking. Nothing really grabbing my eye. Except for that bowl down there. Why didn't I even look at that bowl down there? <laughs> And here I saw this green kind of tinted glass thinking it might be uh, uranium so I was just checking it to make sure. These vases were pretty cool looking. Um, that one I thought was heavier and I thought it would be a good one but the bottom of the base wasn't done very well and they just I don't know things were just starting to get all like mixed together in my head and <laughs> I think I was getting tired by this time. The mason jars were actually pretty reasonable at this store. Now this was another hobbyist piece and really well done and there were a couple other ones that were on the bottom that were kind of cute for fall time. That was really lightweight so it wasn't real copper and just you know it seemed like just not very high quality stuff back here. Now I thought about getting this and painting it like I did my other one for myself and I'll have that video of what I did with one up above so you can see how you can transform one of those into a baker's type rack. In this back area they have everything like um, outdoor lawn stuff to exercise equipment and once in a while a few little pieces of furniture but the other furniture was inside and I didn't get footage of that. They had some pretty cool clocks here and I thought about getting this dome clock and they sell for about $30 in, in good condition and I wasn't sure if it was working or not and it was a music box and everything but I didn't want to chance it and I think they wanted like uh, 5 or $6 for it. They had quite a few lamps and they had this vintage um, baseball player there I thought was kind of cute and I hadn't seen one in years but I thought it would be cute to show you. But they had some neat ones but nothing like really stood out that would be super cool to get. Okay we're home now and I've got everything pulled out. It took me a while to get everything out to show you. But I did get some really nice things. You know, nothing over the top exciting for like at least a hundred dollar item, which I was hoping for, but I did get some really nice things for resale. It ranges anywhere from about 
12 to up to $60 range. So not, you know, high-end things, but very collectible items that people can actually afford. So let's check it out and uh, hopefully you stick through to the end to see everything that I got. Okay, first of all are these knives. These are Lucite, made in Taiwan, stainless steel, and I've never come across anything like them. They are so really pretty. You can kind of see through them. So I was excited for those. Hubby found those for me. He found this super cool knife too for um, either skinning fish or whatever even just chopping some things it's it's really nice weight it's not um, something we're gonna sell he's gonna keep it in his um, fishing box for camping then came across this now I think it's celery I could be wrong but if you can see here it looks super cute so pretty and that's just something that can be cleaned and this says it's made in Italy, which was really nice. And it's no chips or anything on it. And I'll have the comps listed above. I paid $1.50 for this. Oh, and the knives, I think, were 50 cents a piece. Then we have this crystal stopper. It is so pretty. I always just pick them up. I've only found two in the wild. I bought a bunch off of a lady on um, the local classifieds, but it's crystal and I paid a dollar for it and I'm probably going to ask about twenty dollars. I couldn't find an exact comp on it, but I'm going to probably put it on for twenty. Then these cute little things. I thought they were super cute candles and they say Eddie on the side. And if I have a comp form, I'll show you. But I did notice that they are cracked. But for my own decor, I really didn't care because you can't really see when they're sitting, standing up into a candle holder. So I think I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Then this cute planner. I find these all the time. I think this is my fourth one. And I just pick them up and decorate my own home with them. I put like greenery or um, last year I put some cute flocked trees in them to put into my uh, china cabinet. But I only paid a dollar again for this one and it's pretty old. So I'll have the comp as far as what it's worth on up above. Then this cute thing. <laughs> He is so adorable. I just fell in love with him. This is a um, artist, uh, sorry, what do you call them? Um, where someone makes them. And it was Jan that made this one. And I believe it's from the 70s-ish, maybe 60s. But she did a really good job on painting him. If you could see his blue eyes. I just thought it was so cute. So I'm keeping this one and I could not find a comp for this one. Then another cute little art piece and they're molds is what I'm trying to say. They're molds that you can buy and paint them back in the 70s and 80s and sometimes 60s. But I paid 75 cents for this one. I thought it was just a cute little squirrel and I'm just gonna keep that one for myself. And another thing I'm going to keep for myself, it's dirty right now, but I'm going to clean it, of course. But look how cute. I collect these cute little vintage boots, and it's a dollar. And Hubby found this one for me, too. And I just put little greenery in them with my vintage uh, Christmas decor at Christmas time. I just love it. So that's mine. <laughs> And then this cute little thing. Looks like someone used it for a planter. And it's pretty dirty, so it's gonna be soaked really well. And these are not uh, cuts or uh, chips. It's where it's, the paint's worn off. 
but I think it went to a body of something. But I'm not 100%. But I think I'm gonna charge like 12 to 15 for him on uh, Etsy and see what I can get. I paid a dollar for him. And then Jose Cuervo from 1994. I thought was pretty cool shot glass. And I'll have the comps for that one. I just thought that was cute. So whatever the comps are saying, that's what I'll probably list it for. I have this milk glass. And it says, what did it say on it? Randall? So I paid $2 for that. And I'll have the comps above. But it's in pristine condition. And that's just going to go in my own milk glass collection. I just love it. I'm glad I found a piece. Then this cute little creamer. There's no chips or anything. There's a little wear there. Um, but I think once I clean it, it might come off. And this is Franciscan. And it's the, um, I believe the uh, fall season one. I have the rose one. But I'm gonna sell this one, and I'll have the comp above. And I paid a dollar for that one. It's so pretty. Then, this cute guy, look how cute he is. He's just a little trinket box, and this comes off as a lid, a lid to it. And that is made in Taiwan, and I paid a dollar for him, and he'll go into my vintage Christmas collection as well. Then this looks like someone made it, but again, the boot thing, and then the sugar coated, I just thought that was just adorable. You could put a cute little plant in there, or some fake vintage uh, greenery with the berries and that. And this is like a, a wool that they put on. I thought it was super cute. And this is a dollar. And so that's gonna go in my Christmas collection as well. I'm probably gonna keep a lot of my stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> why be a reseller if you're gonna sit and save it all for yourself? And I found this springtime Pyrex bowl, which is in perfect condition. It, they brought out the cart and I hurried and grabbed it before anybody else saw it and its comp will be on the screen but it's definitely worth the two dollars I paid for it because there's no wear on it at all and I think you can see Pyrex. Just super pretty and especially now for springtime I thought that was cute. So let me find somewhere to put this. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Got it working again. He is vintage and it's Midwest. And I think he's, it said made in Taiwan. Paid $2 for him. It's a music box. And I couldn't get it to play. I have to fix it. I think it's wound up too much. It's playing a little bit, but I need to fix it. But he's so adorable. Look, he's got some seed in there for the little geese and he's got his little presents and everything just looks so cute I just loved him so I had to get him <laughs> then there was this cute platter type dish and it has old Christmas tree on it I thought that was really super pretty and it is an older piece too I paid a dollar for it and you'll see the comps on the screen but I just thought it was so cute look at the holly on here and the trees with the snow just so cute she is a cabbage patch doll and so I'm thinking late 70s early 80s possibly 80s mold and it's that same person I think yep Jan Poor Jan, I think she may have passed away and they got rid of all of her cute ceramics. 
but she is worth a good penny for paying only two dollars for her and it being a um, project piece type thing but look how cute she's really painted well Jan did a really good job painting everything she did so look at how beautiful so that one is a a list a listing or maybe for my Halloween decoration I don't know it's so hard to part with stuff but you'll see if you see it on my Etsy shop <laughs> Then, Hubby found these for me. So beautiful. I collect the etching glass type uh, dishes and you can see the etching on that. And these have a good pricing on them, but they're gonna go in my uh, own personal collection. I think they might be crystal. There's no marking on them but I'll have the name of what they are on the screen. And as you can see, there were eight of them. So I have a set of eight, which was super nice. And they were a dollar a piece. Then next to them, I believe these are Libby, but look at how cool that detail is. And these again were a dollar a piece, but they have this emblem on them. And I think it's someone's uh, initials or um, what do you call it? Uh, anyway, initials. <laughs> and so those, I think, even with that, will sell really well. And again, the comps will be on the screen. And I have five of them. Then the hubby found this for me, this beautiful butter dish. It is made in China. And it is a bit newer, but butter dishes go really well, like they sell really well. So this one's probably not going to be more than about 15 to 20 and I paid $1.50 for it, but it's so cute. I just had to either keep it or <laughs> try to sell it, but I, I'm going to list this one. It's super pretty. Then here's another mold. Now this one is really unique. Look at the squirrel. If I knew how to paint these as well as Jan did, I would definitely try to paint this one because I love it. There's no dings or anything on it. It's just a little dirty, could be cleaned up. I'll show you the other side. See how this all will just wash off. But nothing is wrong with it. And I paid $1.50 and I believe I can see what it says. I can't tell what the name of the mold is, but it's different than the other ones. It's more well made than the other ones, but I'll have the listing above too. Just so pretty. Then Hobby found this for me too. He's like getting after it. <laughs> Look how cute. It's a Ray Dunn. As you can see, Ray done, and it's brand new. And I might just put that in my Christmas decor. Um, we paid five dollars for that one. That's the most I've paid for something like that. But I figured if I could sell it, it would go for at least forty. So I think. Check the comps. I may be wrong, but it's still super pretty. Has the green. This is green, not black. So I thought that was really a really good piece. Then we have another mold. This one Jan didn't do, or else I think it probably would have looked better, but he is still collectible. He's actually from the 60s, and look at how cute he is. He's very collectible. I've seen a few sold already and going for quite a bit. And this one is, oh, where's the name? I bought it for $2. Oh, it's Atlantic mold. So they're kind of more older molds and highly sought after. So I thought he was super cute. 
and for a good price. Last but not least, I have this huge cutting board and it is an Ikea so it is newer but I wanted to use it for my own home decor stuff and tell me if you know what the hole on the bottom here is for because unless they're hanging it upside down because there's not a hole here so that's what I'm wondering but he, this is gonna be just standing up with my other uh, wood cutting boards and oh and the price I paid three dollars for that and then once I get this all washed off I'll put some of the oil on it to help it look a lot better okay so that is my haul and let's see if I can get out of the shade or out of the shadows here and I just wanted to show you everything I got and how much I paid and I hope you enjoyed shopping with me in the Salt Lake store this time I did find a lot of really cool items so I hope you I hope you like them as well and so please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop please do so the link will be in the description below and also Tell your friends to watch my videos. I'm trying to get monetized, so put me on all your devices and just let all my videos just run. I don't care if you watch them as long as they're running. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of each piece and what you, um, maybe I left something behind that I should have picked up or tell me what your favorite item was. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.